Welcome to, oh my goodness. Oh, am I really past January already? I am. It's been exactly one month. Here I am back again. missed days. Ah, oh, that's okay. Ah, February 3rd and 4th. In 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell, born February 3rd, 1821, became the first woman to graduate from a U.S. medical school. That's cool. Elizabeth Blackwell. Ah, well, I guess it's time for me to get back to work. We might be ready to go. Well, here I am, home again. And these are what I had left behind. If you remember, these were the uh, the baby tomatoes. And they, although they did get a little dry, my wonderful husband did a very good job of keeping them alive because all 10 germinated and all 10 are still alive. Now, these are actually starting to show flowers already, which probably isn't the best for me, but that's okay. I can't even remember what this variety was called. I just know that they are absolutely fantastic for containers. So today, it's time for these guys to graduate. Ah, we'll just uh, throw the glove on the floor, shall we? Yeah. These have become my favorite, my favorite gloves. These uh, these Kinko gloves. They are tough, and I've washed them twice. They're great. Remember, I'm using, uh, I'm using the Happy Frog Soil. This is the original purpose for which I had intended the Happy Frog to be used, was for container tomatoes. And because this is not seed starting, I don't need to, I don't need to put any boiling water in this. I'm just gonna make sure it's uh, broken up well, and then I'm gonna add some vegetable and tomato fertilizer. I really like the happy frog for tomatoes. The roots seem to grow so well in this particular texture of potting soil. It makes me very happy. 
I really wish I could afford the happy frog on a large scale, unfortunately. That's never going to happen. All right, here we go. That's fine for that, and I'll just... going to need about one for one tablespoon for every plant so I'm only going to put three in. Two, three. Lily Miller, all purpose. I really like it. The granular seems to work very well in the greenhouse because the greenhouse is such a nice constant temperature. Back in. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to kick you. feels so nice to be doing this again after doing nothing but weeks and weeks of running around paperwork and clearing out storage facilities and trying to sell stuff and make decisions hard decisions exceptionally hard when a parent dies to make decisions about all their stuff. Is that a rock? It's a little rock. It's okay. Yeah, here we go. Alright, now which three should I put in? Should I put in little ones or should I put in the big ones? I should probably give each big one its own pot. So, one. Be careful. Come on, come on. Oh, well, not as many roots as I'd like to see, but it's, it's all right, it's all right. Here we go. I'm gonna follow the same rule of burying it as deep as I can get it. you grow bigger roots? You did. This one grew a lot more roots because it was in a bigger container, less constrained. And I love to see all those lovely starter roots there. You'll notice that uh, 
some of these seem very some of these leaves seem pale um, we're gonna see that a lot from uh, from teeny tiny ones because you know they ran out of nutrients and they really wouldn't have lasted too much longer if I'd been delayed any more coming home all right batch one complete so what happened to my little germination tactic? Did it work? Well, it did. Can you see the, can you see the roots? These roots are fantastic. You know, baby roots. They, uh, they too ran out of everything they needed. And then the whole seedlings started turning pale, but don't worry. These were only a test to see if this system would work. And I like it. I like it a lot. I think that uh, I will be using this for germinating, not just microgreens. I think I could probably do regular seeds in this for transplant to the hydroponic system. I like it a lot. And this, did this work? Well, kind of, sort of. Unfortunately, the, uh, the aeration didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but I am seeing, I am seeing roots. I see roots here. And they did start to stand up and be recognized, which is great for little lettuces. And all four of them did germinate quite well and started growing vigorously. I am going to clear these out. I am not going to use these to transplant in the hydroponic system because obviously I don't have the hydroponic system working yet. But these roots look excellent. So the paper worked. It's yet another possibility for starting seeds in my hydroponic system that's, that's gonna cost me Almost nothing at all. This is not the happy frog soil. However, I am already noticing that uh, the bag is quite far down, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to use this as bulk filler, which I'm absolutely sure the plants aren't going to mind. I really hope. I hope they don't mind. Alright. One. Two. Three. And one tablespoon per gallon of soil. One, two, three. Now, one of the big questions, I'm sure, gardeners start asking other gardeners at this time of the year, have you ordered your seeds yet? What did you get? Where did you buy them from? I was spoiled for choice this year between park seeds, Eden seeds, uh, Baker Creek, a, Adaptive, and even um, even OSU, it might be sending me wheat seeds. We'll see. <clears throat> um, I really was spoiled for choice. Not as long as the as the fatter one, but this still really 
good, good roots. People who don't have much money are all too aware of the inability to buy a whole lot. Oh, I don't think I, uh, I didn't put that deep enough. Dang it, I, I don't like these gloves when I'm doing this. I like it for prepping the potting soil, but not planting. There we go. Get out. Get out. Are you enough now? You might be. Most economical to buy from is definitely Baker Creek. No shipping costs for me. There's a free gift after you buy so many seeds. And because I usually I buy a minimum of five packets, I always get a free gift. So guess with guess what I went with this year again? Yes. I went with Baker Creek. <clears throat> I did not get the fanciest or the newest um, tomato seeds. But paying $3 per packet, I was able to get five packets of seeds plus a gift for $17. I mean, it was $3 to, to $4 a packet. is That's amazing. It really is. I did get tomato. I got a new tomato besides this tomato. It's not a cherry tomato. It's a slicing tomato. I also got a new miniature corn, but this year I chose a popcorn variety. We eat a lot of popcorn. I am not, uh, I am not ashamed to admit we do eat a lot of popcorn. So I'm hoping this will be a, a very useful corn for me to get. And it's a little miniature, little miniature strawberry popcorn. Shouldn't be much bigger than, the ears shouldn't be much bigger than that. With red kernels. Looked absolutely amazing. We'll see how it does. you with your little itty bitty flowers there. There we go. Oh yeah. When I'm doing a tomato, holding it like this when it's not in these Holding it like this really prevents me from um, from breaking the roots. I never, ever uh, yank from the top if I can help it. If I have to release it from the sides, um, I'll slide. I'll slide something like that in there around the sides if it's uh, if it's stuck. Usually, this is fine. Unless the, unless the roots are coming out of the bottom, this is usually okay. These roots are not as prolific as the others were. I'm wondering if this plant was actually in distress and decided I better start flowering right now or I'm not going to get the chance to reproduce at all. Well, I'm sorry I put you under such distress, little tomato. Maybe you can forgive me while you're while you're growing. This should give you enough. 
to actually grow with. There we go. And now all the big ones are done and I just need uh, four more. One of these things is not like the other. Yes. I have four, but this, this, and this have fertilizer. This pot has no fertilizer. I probably should have done two, but eh, one is probably sufficient for my purposes just to see if the little one can keep up with its uh, big brothers with no fertilizer in here initially. And just to give it the best chance, I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the one with the busted out roots. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. There's one. You are way behind the times, buddy. Way behind the times. Very little roots on that one. I forgot to check on the leaf, didn't I? Are there any? Nope. Crow fight. Are there any roots down here? I don't see any roots down here. That's not bad though, is it? Come on, come on, come on. Alright. You, uh, you're alright. I mean, it's not great. So this is definitely the best with all this branching going on. So I'm going to give this one this this container and see how it does. Let's just see how you do. Yep. There you This poor little thing had its uh, its initial leaves actually look like they've curled and turned brown. Very similar look to uh, to a lot of the ones that were in the tiny container. Not necessarily surprising, since they underwent the most stress. And yes, I did reuse a little bit of potting soil there to extend how much potting soil I had. Except for this one. This one just has Fox Farm soil, potting soil. Nothing else in it. No other potting soil. No fertilizer. And I do not have, I obviously do not have the, uh, the hydroponic system set up, which is fine. It's fine. I'll get there. So, I'm going to give these babies enough light here to, um, to help them out. Now, How about the, uh, the control of lettuce, the lettuce control? The lettuce control went absolutely insane. As you can see, lots of little baby lettuce plants there. Um, I don't necessarily have to transplant them, but uh, I think I probably will if I get a few minutes, but uh, I'm not gonna use anything more than just, you know, kind of cruddy reuse soil. 
that's all I really need for uh, for lettuces that, you know, maybe in a week or so I'm just going to pluck and eat. Here's what I'm really happy about. These are the bonsai pomegranate trees. Look at these. All filled out with beautiful leaves again and growing new stuff all the time. They certainly do love it here in the greenhouse. All four plants survived. Very happy to see it. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get some flowers this year and maybe some fruit if these, uh, are strong enough. We'll see. And here we are. I have one full shelf filled with baby tomatoes. Now, now, pomegranate, behave yourself. And these will, these will not remain here permanently, but, uh, you know, they do need just a little bit of babying after their, after their traumatic experience of being transplanted. And because I need to go get five miles of walking in, this is all I have time for today. But tomorrow, let's see what else we might be able to start in here. And can we get the hydroponic system up and running? Hmm, sounds like fun. Remember guys, if you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.